Hi, welcome to Modern Tutorials. This is my fourth video. Okay. In this video of lesson, you will learn correlations. How to perform correlation in uh, load runner. So, what is a correlation actually? Correlation, correlation means you have to correlate the dynamic values while recording script it is generated automatically. So, correlation is nothing but you need to identify the dynamic values which is generated while recording your script. So, why? Because thus dynamic values are every time it is generating while running your script suppose session id it is always generating one session id for each and every user okay after you log in it will generate new session id after log out then it will close when you log re-log in it will generate one more session id so that's why we need to correlate the dynamic values with the help of this function underscore register underscore save underscore arrow save so this is a syntax to save your correlation value into correlation value into one parameter ok see int web save param this is a int deprecated use web save x or save param x bar so that's all so this is a syntax is you have to found left boundary you have to found right boundary and this is our last so we are having orders also so not required so left lb means left boundary rp means right boundary okay session id so this is a parameter simply given a name okay coming to how to find uh, dynamic you see here it is given session id time session id bcn id it is generated one uh, token also so session token so first of all we will see how to identify these values here it is generated one id i am created domain so recorded for major note so they are using cookies the bad cookies okay if you how to identify how to find and how to write the web underscore register underscore save underscore param to save your session id into that particular values Okay, if you copy this value, so wherever the script is required, just you have to go to from here, web underscore URL, this is a URL, go to view, snapshot, if you find, see, if you see here, this is a, so you will see grid, you can't understand exactly, you need to go to tree, click on this one, so this is a response right just click on control f control v find next see you need to find the dynamic value you need to find the dynamic value in the response the response is given see so i will copy just paste here so it is here it is generated okay now we will write now we will write left boundary and right boundary so coming to this is a value we require so for this one right boundary is this one this is the right boundary can we take this right boundary just paste here this is the right boundary so we need to find left boundary so from this this is the left boundary go to here and form so now you need to replace this value from here simply go to open and curly basis session id so every time you script run 
Every time you run the script, this parameter will be replaced here. Okay. So in this way, you need to prepare correlation value for dynamic values. Okay. So if you want to see multiple correlation values, you can go to Studio. It will, if it is having different different correlated values, it will display here. Okay. You can check a new applied all. So replay and scan. After you click on replay and scan, it will display everything. See, so I have replaced one value, so it will take dynamic values. It will start a see step navigator. I have seen, I have explained in the previous video. It will show steps. What are the steps you are performing? Everything it will display. Solution explorer will display here. Steps, everything will display here. It will run. It will take some time. Here it is. Iteration, every iteration it will show. If you having any errors, it will display call stack, watch, breakpoint, output to know, match phone for the requested parameterization ID. Parameters are exist in the response data also. Verify session ID is showing null. So this is an error. So you need to exact found find the session ID for proper response. Then only it will script will execute. Still it is running and validating. Completed. It will not uh, get anything. Okay. Okay. After scanning, this is already we have uh, replaced. See this one. That's why it is showing. Uh, no, we have already replaced. To come to here. So I am going to check in this one. This one also we will say. To give the URL. You snapshot tree. Okay, now data. See, it is finding here. So, same like that, you need to write same. Same session ID, left boundary and right boundary are same. So, we can write from here, click on just copy paste. Simplification ID. So, what is this name actually? You can write according to this session ID. This time session hyphen ID. You can provide as hyphen ID. Hyphen ID is give proper name. So, just replace this value. Just delete this one. So what are the action we are doing? This is a manual correlation. Okay. So it is having cookies. So if you run this one, see how it will run your script. More thing is uh, stop this one. We can remove this one. We actually, actually we, it is not required. Just we can comment design parameters action insert here you need to see actually comment so this is a comment I have done so Bing I think it is also not required format comment Okay, let's uh, run this one, save and close and run. So it is step navigator, everything it will display here one by one. See the lock. Uh, 
it is loading the files is having different different files that's why it is loading taking time so like this you need to create separate session id for each and every Separate of uh, parameters you need to save in that one, then only it will work properly. This is a dynamic while it's generating, it will automatically insert into saving into parameters with the help of register save on the parent. Okay, thank you, thank you for watching my videos. Please subscribe for more.